Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be building a real estate listing website using WordPress and Elementor. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here I have a fresh install of WordPress. So what we want to do is go to its dashboard and then we're going to first install a real estate theme. So go into appearances and then themes, and then we're going to add a new theme. And then we're going to search real estate. Okay, and then choose the one in which you think would work best for your brand. So I like this one here, Real Estate Elementor, as I prefer the Elementor website builder. So you're going to go to install that and activate. Okay, and then what you want to do is install the required plugins. So click begin install. Then install all these plugins. Okay, so now we need to activate them. Okay, so the plugins have been activated. So let's go back to the homepage. Okay, so our website has been updated, but we still need to import the demo data. So let's just do that. So back in dashboard here. So again, you can just exit the plugin prompts. And then what we wanna do is go here into appearances and import demo data. Okay, and then import this data. Continue and import. So now it's gonna import the demo content. Great, so let's visit the site. Awesome, so now our demo content has been imported here. Okay, so over here, you're able to manage the listings already with this theme as it comes with this Estetech plugin. So let's just look over this. Okay, great, so you're able to see your listings and settings over here. Okay, so you're able to set the units, the currency of the property. Let's go here into maps. So to get a more accurate map data, you'll have to set up a Google API key. Okay, so captures this is for preventing spam. So listings, this is what you wanna look at. So like the layouts over here, the default property images. So you can use like your logo. And then over here is just like the layout. So you can play with these depending on your preferences. Awesome, so you can really fine tune the listings using this app. Okay, so we'll save those changes. Okay, so over here in the dashboard, let's go to add new property. Awesome, so let's just say Toronto house. Okay, and it's just a standard WordPress editor, but the property information is over here, which you can fill out the details. So let's just say 1 million, price per square foot, say 1,000. Okay, and then just bedrooms, three be bedrooms, two bath. Okay, and these are all optional, so you can just fill them out as you'd like. Okay, so let's just put in some data here. Okay, and make this featured. Awesome, so you can even set open house times with this plugin. And over here, you can separate it by tag. So if you wanna, if, you're, if your website is focusing on specific neighborhoods, then you can create these categories here as well as amenities and features. With these tags over here, you're able to fine tune your filtering functionality. So if you have other categories, then you can set that here, but this is just a demo. So we're just gonna skip that and we're gonna click publish. Let's view the posts. Okay, awesome. So we have our property over here and then at the bottom, you're able to message the realtor. And then if we check back on the homepage, let's see if our property has been added. Awesome, so now our property has been listed here as well and it's marked as featured. And then it's available here in our latest apartment queries as well. So let's just go back into the dashboard and let's see what else is available in the aesthetic plugin. Okay, so say you wanna add some more fields. Let's go into fields builder. If you're looking to add another field over here, then you can do that in this section. So you can add more fields to the listing. So let's say what's not available here. Let's just create one for a backyard. So is there a back backyard? And just a label. Part of the basics tab. And it's just gonna be, make it a select over here and then it'll just be yes or no. Okay, and then you can say who is it visible for. So visible for all users and save change. Okay, so now let's see. It's 
if it's here. Yep, so we have backyard over here. So let's just move it up. Uh, let's put it right before bedrooms. Okay, and then let's go back to our listings. And yeah, don't forget to save. So let's go back to our listing over here and then let's edit it. Awesome. So now if we check over here, now we can say if there's a backyard or no backyard. So let's say there is and then update that. And then if we view our listing, awesome. So now it's included here in the basics information. Okay. So over here in the dashboard, let's go back to our listing plugin and then go here into short codes. Okay, so if you want to create like a custom page with certain listings, you can do that here in the short codes tabs. Okay, so let's just do that now. So let's just create a new page. So go here into page and create new. Again, this will be say Toronto Homes. Okay, and then publish that first and then we'll edit it, edit it with Elementor. Okay, and then edit with Elementor. Okay, and then what we want to do is, okay, so first pick out your layout. So let's just go with Flexbox and then it'll be just a regular row. Okay, and then we're going to add a short code. So in the widget, just search short code. Okay, and make sure to add in that short code. So it's ES my listing. Okay, so here's all of the listings. So let's give it a category of only. Toronto. So let's go here. Okay. So put in the category as Toronto and update that. Okay. So no results. So what we, we need to do is add Toronto to our listing. Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard and then we'll come back to this. Okay. So back here in the dashboard, we're going to go back to our listing and then Toronto homes, Toronto house. And then over here, we're just going to give the category Toronto and add that and update. Okay. So that's updated. And then let's go back to this page over here and refresh. Okay. So what we need to do actually is over here in the data manager is get the ID for that category. So it's one, three, three, and then let's just go back to our Toronto homes page and update that short code. So yes, categories is one three three and let's see if that works awesome so now our category page for only toronto homes has been updated okay and let's just view that on the front end here okay great so now we're able to separate properties using their short code here and again you can look over the available short codes here as you're able to filter properties not just on categories but also by price so you can and if you check over here, you can set other parameters such as disabling like the nav bar and how many listings you want per page. So just look over to documentation as well, just to see all the available options. Okay. So to finish off, let's just go over the settings again. So we went over the initial ones. So let's see over here. So listing search. So you're able to edit the options over here user profile. So you're able to set the profile page. So by default, it's already enabled for you here. Okay. And then SEO. So that's on by default as well. And then your social sharing and then the slugs. So by default, you can keep it like this. And then the terms and conditions, if you have custom ones, you can edit that here. And then just again, save changes once you're done editing the settings. So awesome. We have a functioning property listing website built on WordPress with the real estate for Elementor theme and aesthetic plugin to handle the real estate listings. Okay. And then to finish off, let's just go over editing the pages with Elementor. So go over here into edit with Elementor, and then we can edit the default homepage. Okay. So you can add in a a logo up here in the header if you have that, but we'll just edit the content over here already. So again, for the search function, you have this widget over here. So you can search by location over here. And then these are the filters, which they have available. So these are the main filters, which you can add. And then the collapsible filters. So these are like the, the filters down here and they're more filters. Okay. And then let's 
look at the advanced field so you can add, edit and add more fields to this okay and then down here again it's a short code so you're able to show how many settings you have here as well as the filters so you can over here do it by certain categories and labels so let's just add one underneath here so if you go down here to Escatic, you have these widgets which you which you can just slide in so we can add another one other we can add in another one right under here okay and then let's just make this one Toronto awesome so this is just the Toronto listings so you can use either the short code or the widget versions but with the short code, you're able to really fine tune some of the options. But if you're just looking to create like the default slider and listing pages, then the widget would be a lot easier to use. Okay, and this is the request form over here. So you can edit the style and the email in which the message gets sent to. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to follow along and create a real estate listing website. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you're looking for help with your website, then you can check out my website, maplitmedia.ca. And thanks for watching.